Hey guys, I'm Brian Shuck with my co-host Joe Lickness, and this is the Midnight Mechanic $500 Challenge. What this is, is we take $500 and we go find a vehicle and then we budget $500, go ahead and get it roadworthy. And then in the end, we try to sell it and make at least a $500 profit. This is our 88 S10. It's the first one we bought. Joel hasn't seen it yet. What do you think, Joel? I mean, as far as $500 vehicles go, it looks pretty sweet. Well, I do not disagree with you. Let's go ahead and we're going to unload it, go ahead and get it in the shop and see if we can figure out what it needs. Our truck has a 2.5 liter four cylinder, also known as the Iron Duke. It has 98 horsepower and 130 foot pounds of torque, enough to put it up to a 14.2 second 0 to 60 time. Now, for reference, our 2015 Malibu has twice the horsepower and will do 0 to 60 in half the time. There's nothing trash on a $500 vehicle. Okay? Nothing. <laughs> the dashboard's loose. <laughs> Say twenty five dollars. Yep. Wiring right. harness is straight. We got the lower fan shroud. Oh, dude, is this? This is a non-power steering truck. Oh man, it is. This is a non-power steering truck. This is awesome. Truck. This is awesome. <laughs> there are no options on this. This is literally the lowest option yeah. S10 you can get. Roll up windows, no, no power AC. steering, no AC. <laughs> yep, it's got the non AC heater box and the four cylinder. This is the lowest option and the lightest weight. Yep. Did he tell you what was wrong with the engine? No, he just said it was broken. <laughs> no. It's a Fortex. It's got one brand new rocker arm. Yep. Let's see if it turns on. It's not locked up. It's not, and I heard compression. Yeah. Do we put the effort into trying to get this turn running? I don't know. It's black. We could cut that filter open. Yeah, let's do that. That'd be a, that'd be some good content. Yeah. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to cut open the oil filter. We're going to use this oil filter cutting tool, which will cut it open. That way we can pull the filter out and we can look in the filter to see if it has any metal in it. If it has metal in it, then we know that it's chewing up bearings. The engine's probably not good. You can also see how sludge it is and if it has any water in it. So that'll really tell us what this engine actually looks like inside. Oh, that is thick. That is nasty. Gross. Dude, that's gross. It doesn't look like any metal though. So probably it overheated and cracked the cylinder head. Yeah. It's just sludge. It's look just at how nasty. gross that is. Oh, uh, is that metal? I don't know. Oh, that's metal. Oh, that's metal. Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just powder now though. It's, they <laughs> ran it for a long time yes. with a rod bearing going in it. You can see it in the light. These S10 trucks had a rear leaf spring and a front coil spring suspension. Although when we looked under ours, we weren't too excited about what we found. Oh! That's a custom low rider. So what they did was they took a torch and they heated up the rear leaf springs to lower it, but now the leaf springs are sitting on the frame. I haven't seen that one before. No. That's a new one. No. No. 
Which means the fronts are probably also heated. Oh, it's gonna ride real it's gonna nice. Ride fantastic. <laughs> 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 oh, that oh, was oh. bending when you do that instead of the truck moving. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> so what we're talking about with the springs is you literally heat them up with a torch until they lose the arch for the leaf springs or the coil springs will lose a little bit of height when you heat them up. The problem is they lose their spring rate and they start riding extremely rough, which is what Joel was joking about earlier about this thing riding extremely rough. Interior of our S10 is very basic with vinyl seat, vinyl floors, vinyl headliner, and manual everything with no air conditioning. There are no bells and whistles here. Missing the switches. What do you think they did here? The radar. <laughs> it's melted. It's they melted it. It's like somebody put a giant, giant cigar, cigar out on. <laughs> on the dashboard. Can we just put a sticker over that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, ooh, custom wire nuts. That is the proper way to wire a house. car stereos. <laughs> or a house. Or a house. <laughs> so uh, apparently Kim used to ride shotgun. All right. All right, now, stripped out S10. Did they come with the headliner or has this been removed? It's like you can see the glue. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 It's probably vinyl. Yeah. All right. Oh, look, it's got the... Floor vents. Oh, dude. This is that one over there. No. <laughs> oh. That's awesome. I didn't even know they put those in these. Yep. I love it. Yes. All right, so we need windshield or headlight. headlight. And windshield wipers. Headlight windshield wipers. Um, I'll bet you this thing is so stripped down, it didn't even have the intermittent wipers. I'll bet you just got the wipers that are um, bet off, right. low, and high. I bet you're right. You probably look under the hood and see the motor and see. <laughs> and yeah. I mean, that's all that this is. Yep. It's defrost. Are you, you going to put it on the floor or are you going to put it in the, <laughs> on what temperature? Hot or, or whatever it is outside. Air temperature. Yeah. <laughs> this seat is not uncomfortable. It is not. And this one surprised me because there's a gigantic hole in it. <laughs> yeah. Wonder if Kim did that too. <laughs> I don't know, but I mean, I don't know if my butt's too big. It's bridging the gap, but it fits okay. This is a, again, a surprisingly good five hundred dollar vehicle. It is surprisingly good. Good job for your first purchase. No, not bad. These aren't factory. These are not. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> so you can block the sun in two different directions. Somebody needed that so bad. If you is have, two of them? If you have two suns. If you're on, if you are on Tatooine, these are perfect. All right, so list. Uh, we definitely need an engine. That one is toast. Right, those plug wires. Plug wires. Uh, water pump pulley. I'll just put ignition stuff. Um, Headlight and windshield wiper switch. Um, what else? Honestly, a uh, fan. Fan, yeah. Fan and maybe a fan shroud. Really? That might be. That's about it. That might be all the rest of these. So we went through it. We figured out what we needed. An engine, some little bits and pieces. It really doesn't need all that much. I think we can get it done for at least $500 or less. Yeah, I agree. I, I don't think it's going to take a whole lot to get this little truck on the road. Yep. Uh, so we'll go ahead. We'll start trying to source an engine. Trying to find all those little bits and pieces, try to find the best deals we can to stay under that $500. Watch our other episodes, they're coming up. We're going to start working on it. Check out our social media Facebook, Instagram, at the Midnight Mech, TikTok, at the Midnight Mechanic, and we will see you guys next time.
my hands. I never know what to do with my hands. <laughs>